hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to today's feature solos today we are heading to finland i know you're gonna enjoy this i have a finland comedy playlist i have finland reaction is mixture of comedy cities history and all you can do it to check that out and today's video title says traditional finland food all right so we're going to be looking at finland food today i'm excited about this particular one so if you're new to the channel hi welcome thank you so much for liking subscribing leaving your beautiful and awesome comment and yeah let's head over to finland Today we're here in Turku, Finland, talking about what you should eat when you come here to Finland. And I know if you're traveling around the world, you probably haven't seen too many Finnish ravintolas or restaurants because Finnish cuisine isn't known to be the most popular in the world. However, that doesn't mean there aren't some really great treats for you to have when you're here, okay? So we're going to go through some of the best foods to have when you're here in Finland and also let you know is how they eat here in Finland as well so you can have a better time filling up on some of these fun snacks. And I think one thing you'll see and you'll see it whether you're on the train coming from Helsinki to Turku or you're going to see it on the breakfast buffet at your hotel are Karelian pies or Karelian Pirgaka which of course I am totally butchering the name but basically what it is it's like about the size of your hand and it's like a, a rye dough bready crust kind of thing filled with like a rice pudding and then I don't know how else to better explain this but like a egg butter on top of it I know it sounds crazy but it's actually fantastic because you get them warm oh, it's so good but that's like a great snack but also something you'll see for breakfast a lot of times at restaurants but that's one of my favorite things when I lived here that was one of my survival snacks for breakfast every single day okay, okay? now another thing you really have to have and if you're here in, in Turku and you're just walking up and down the river the Aua River which is beautiful or if you're on the Esplanade, the Esplanade in Helsinki, sit at a cafe and have a Korva Pusti, which is a cinnamon roll. Ooh. Honestly, That's Finland bad. has the best cinnamon rolls in the world, hands down. Cinnabon can Ooh. go drop off the side of the earth because here they're incredible. Ooh. Whether you get like a cheap one from a store or a fantastic amazing. one from a cafe or a bakery, but honestly, the cinnamon rolls are so good. When I told my son I was coming here, Liam's like, Dad, you have to have a cinnamon roll for me. So Liam, I've had the cinnamon rolls for you, buddy. You're welcome. Okay, but that's something you really need to have. And what's cool is you can have that with coffee because the Finns love their coffee and you have great coffee when you're here. Strong coffee, so grab a coffee and a cinnamon roll and you'll be happy for a great snack, okay? Now another thing you're really gonna like when you're here is actually rye bread. Ruizliepa. Yeah, I know, I'm totally butchering my Finnish. It's been so long since I lived here. I mean, it's been about 25 years since I lived here, so like my language skills are not so great. But honestly, the Finns love their bread and you'll see that in the morning where people have tons of bread options at the hotel and the thing is a lot of times for dinner Finns don't have big meals at home at dinner they might just have some bread and some butter on it or some cheese on it but they have fantastic mm. bread but the best bread here is the rye bread have some of that when okay. you're here it is wonderful and if you can't have that just get some of the normal like homemade bread um, you, you you won't be disappointed okay. now when I told people I was coming to Finland they're like Finland is that near Sweden? And then they think, oh, Ikea meatballs? I'm like, look, Sweden has their Swedish meatballs, but Finland also does meatballs, okay? And the meatballs here are fantastic. And what you're gonna do is you have meatballs with mashed potatoes and then lingonberry jam on the side yeah. or mix it together, however you wanna have it. But that is kind of like a, kind of a staple kind of thing you'll see in restaurants, especially Finnish restaurants, obviously, when you go there. Um, another- Okay, so this is quite interesting and I'm curious. Why would you have meatball with mashed potato? It makes sense. Then you now have jam. Jam is for bread. Maybe it's the particular Finland um, restaurant he went to that served that kind of platter. Or is this how it's being served in Finland in your home? I would like to know that in the comment section. And that um, uh, cinnamon roux. Oh my goodness. Like I ah that looks so amazing like it's so so juicy looking at it from afar i just want to grab and eat it that looks so amazing then the first thing he said was the bread with the rice and the buttery stuff on top that looks pretty good i don't i've never tasted that one before so cinnamon roll i've tasted cinnamon roll but this finish this finish on this ha that looks pretty interesting i would like to taste that from the number one number two number three 
but I want <laughs> I don't know how it will taste with the mashed potato and meatball and jam how does that taste I'm still curious about that anyway let's go back and keep on watching First staple you'll have is salmon, and I'm talking salmon in mm, any salmon. kind of way you can I have. Love salmon. You can have a salmon fillet. You can have a whole salmon. You can have salmon soup. I know when I went to school here, one of my favorite school salmon lunches soup. was oh, salmon good. with little potatoes. It was fantastic, Ooh, and, and the fins crazy. and their their potatoes here. It's incredible. If you go to somebody's house, they'll make these little tiny potatoes, and they stab them, and they'll peel them like. Phew. You're like, wait, where'd the skin go? Like they're that good at it. It's hilarious. But you'll have salmon, salmon, and more salmon when you're here if you can, because they do such a good job with it and and honestly probably another thing you want to have and one thing that really changed for me when I lived here in Finland was my love of mushrooms when I came to Finland I hated mushrooms I didn't want mushrooms, mushrooms on anything everything. but here in Finland they love wow. nature they go out and hiking and they go mushroom hunting and they find fantastic mushrooms to put in all kinds of stuff so if you see something on the menu that has mushrooms on it or a mushroom sauce oh my god you've got to have it mushroom soup oh so good okay so definitely have some mushrooms with anything when you're here. Now, the favorite candy for people here in Finland, and the one reason most tourists run away screaming from this country, is called salmiaki. And salmiaki is basically black licorice candy, and you can get it in all kinds of forms. I mean, they'll have the hard candy, like the original, like hard candy version, which is just evil. Okay, and then you can have like the licorice kind, but it'll come in like an ice cream, salmiaki ice cream. Yes, black licorice ice cream. Hell does exist, my friend. That's why the Helsinki airport is H E L. I think it's because the salmiaki ice cream. That was like the thing where I said, no, no, this one deserves to be hell. All right, but salmiaki, if you like black licorice, like salty black licorice, it's for you. And you'll see it in other things aside from candy. Actually, they'll sometimes, if you're at somebody's house, they might melt down some of the, the hard ones and mix it with some kosken korva, so for salmiaki kosu or salmiaki kosken korva. And you can't always get salmiaki kosken korva, so you might see salmari at bars where it's that's the black licorice shot. You can have a shot of liquor. There's also oh. One that's like a little bit creamier version of that that's not as <laughs> black licorice that's doable but just know that so samyaki is a thing here and if you want to make your your, your finnish friends happy when you go visit them bring them some salmiaki as a gift you go to their house okay because right. yeah they, they love it what here thing? it's horrible it's really horrible and then there's another drink. thing the, the turkish pepper uh it's not actually from finland but it's another can that's really popular here that's another one that foreigners tend not to like when they come visit but it's weird because there's actually so many candy stores here because you have this phaser candy, candy which like is from here your... and that is some fantastic you like gummies you like chocolate oh, oh my, my god goodness. finland has such good candies when you're here wow. it's kind of surprising how, how like healthy and in shape the people are looking at all the candies they actually do have but that is one thing go to one of the candy shops when you're here and believe me you will see the candy shops there's candy shops you know plenty of them out there to go get some so you have some stuff now let's get away from getting ourselves cavities to getting ourselves full another thing you might see is reindeer yes Reindeer. They're not saying reindeer. it's reindeer. No, no, no. They're they're safe up in up in Rovaniemi in the in the north, not the North Pole, because Santa Claus is the northern Finland, not the North Pole. Very different, okay? But reindeer is something you can have, and sometimes it'll be a meatball. Sometimes it'll be like, how do I say, like a stewed reindeer kind of thing. It's it's actually pretty good, so you can have that. Um, there are also a lot of soups you can have because I mean it's cold here a lot of the year, okay? So those soups are really hard and they fill you up. And there's lots of different soups you can have. Like I said, mushroom soup, salmon soup, nice. pea soup. I am uh, sausage soup, mincemeat soup. I mean, there's just a lot of different soups Mince you can have soup? when you are oh. here and they do really help out and it makes a good starter. And if you're looking to kind of lower your budget, going with the soup and the bread, just like a starter kind of thing for, for your meal, can actually save you a lot of money and the soups do fill you up. Now, you remember when mm -hmm. I told you about that cinnamon roll you need to have? Well, if you're going to a mm -hmm. cafe, another thing I think you should look for is blueberry pie or just any kind Ooh. of berry pie. And I'm going to tell you, don't think of it like in the American, you know, apple pie mode. Think of it more of as a... Not a crumble, but more like a dense oh, cakey kind of thing. Good. But you'll have those berry pies, those blueberry pie kind of <laughs> cake pie things. It's just, I don't know what the exact time. Blueberry pie looks heavenly. Like, you know, just to grab and eat it. It looks amazing. And the soups he was showing us, they looks pretty interesting. Like, a lot of options to choose from. And that's sweet. That's sweet. Hey God, the name you just give me the name of that sweet. Oh my goodness. Hmm. 
I if I have a fin- Finland friend, definitely okay. So he said if you want to make a Finland happy, a Finnish person happy, you get them that particular black sweet. Okay, okay, okay. Now I know. Just in case I have a Finland friend, okay, I know that. Okay, this one makes in ca- like happy. If I make them angry, I will just okay take this and I know our case is settled. You get that right? <laughs> Okay, so all these meals are pretty interesting to try. Like, yo, there are different different varieties of food. And that salmon soup, oh, that looks heavenly. Like, it's so creamy, it's so juicy. Nice. I'm pretty enjoying this. If you've watched this essay and you've not subscribed to the channel, like, I don't know what you're waiting for, kindly hit on the subscribe button, like the video, share it, and Let's go back and see more juicy food. Are you a foodie? Eh? The word is it's not a tart, it's not a tort, it's not a pie, it's not a cake, but they call it pie here. But the blueberry pie, the berry pies, it's really nice. And the thing is, a lot of the berries are coming from here in Finland. Another thing you have to realize is the Finns really love nature. They love organic stuff. And so you do have a lot of organic options. You do have a lot of vegetarian and vegan options when you are here, That's which is nice. really nice. Oh, and the thing is, is when you're eating, you'll see different like things that are out are there. And a lot of traditional foods Those sometimes don't show up on menus. You might want to have it at somebody's house, or it might be kind of like a starter or an appetizer kind of thing. So you really need to look through the menu at different places so, you know for example you have you know the bread cheese that's here it's kind of like a this kind of how to say it's like a fresh cheese kind of thing you can have that's really nice the thing is is when you're eating here in Finland it is one of those things that the locals they like their organic they like from Finland and nature but actually they like international cuisine okay so when you're here you'll notice that your friends will ask you oh do you want to get sushi do you want to go get Indian food do you want to go get some Thai food they won't say you want to go get some Finnish food they very much like to go and have international fair so if you want to have something non-finish you will have plenty of opportunities here whether you're here in Turku or Helsinki or Salo or Tampere or Rovaniemi there, there's plenty of options out there and if you've got your kids here there's also they have kids menus a lot of times too but it's one of those things that you have a lot of options which is nice as a traveler because sometimes when you're having the local food you know three weeks in a row you get a little tired of it and you can have some international fare when you're here and for my fast food loving friends and it's not just Americans because people go to eat fast food all over the world Finland has has its own version of McDonald's and that's Hesburger <laughs> which is a thousand times better than Ooh. McDonald's oh my god it's an insult to Hesburger to compare it to them but if you go there they have the Keros Humperleinen which is like their version of a Big Mac but it that is fantastic is and what's great at Hesburger is they have their own mayonnaises I always get the paprika paprika mayonnaise nice. paprika mayonnaise which is the the pepper mayonnaise which is like a little bit of spicy in it but they have like all kinds of different ones you can try but it's all oh, so good with the fries but honestly if you want a fast food thing that that's really good. Also, you'll notice there's a lot of kiosks that will sell like little fry ups, like hot dogs or makro peronut, which is you know, like, like imagine having French fries and chopped up uh, hot dog together and they just fry it together and they'll have that. So there's a lot of like drunk snacks late at night if you want to get some of those things, but they're also available during the day. So that's nice. One thing I will say is when you come out to Finland, you're eating in Finland. Finland is not a cheap place, okay? It's some place like Helsinki is very expensive, okay? If you're coming to Turku, it's a lot easier. Like, I actually tell people's like look I mean the trains are actually pretty cheap here you could you know do a day trip to Helsinki from Turku because there's trains early in the morning to late in the evening and you can save the money on your just in the plane train ticket in your hotel okay so something to kind of think about but when you're looking at your meals you can go to the supermarkets to get there's plenty of supermarkets here to grab foods look for our kioski if you're looking for like little snack mm-hmm. stuff or maybe a sandwich or something and you don't want to spend a lot of money they have a lot of like quick and to go kind of foods you know for you or you can get one of those cinnamon rolls there as well you get coffee there too and that's gonna be cheaper than if you go to a cafe or a restaurant so that could be some way to kind of help your budget when you're here uh, another thing it's I would bad. say is if you're well, looking at going out to place. eat service it's not bad it's just not fast and you don't tip okay because they already get paid a nice way so there's no tipping here in Finland so that's not like incentivizing people to like work faster or do anything oh. so have some patience when you're ordering your food and getting your menu just because it takes a little bit longer but the thing is the service is professional so if you're not sure what what you want or if you have allergies the thing is people here speak English really well so if you have an allergies to some kind of flour and okay. you want to make sure it's not in your food you can ask them in English and they'll be pretty helpful with that so that's really nice and I really have found that here okay. they were very accommodating when it comes to cuisine okay so I hope this helps you know what to eat when you're here mm. I know I'm gonna go have myself a lovely 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 cinnamon roll and enjoy the rest of my fine day here in Turku and I'm gonna head actually over to the castle
hustle now and have a good time there. So I wish you all the best. Have a fun time eating here in Finland. If you want to learn more, maybe the don'ts of visiting Finland or the don'ts of visiting Turku, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, you know all those places. And if you want to help us make these honest travel videos, go to patreon.com slash waltersworld to find out how you can help support us. Thanks and moi moi from here in Turku, Finland. Guys, those are pretty interesting meals he displayed and oh, I can't wait to try it anytime I visit the Finland, okay? Especially the cinnamon roll, he, he, he recommended it like three times, okay? So that should say it is very, very good, okay? And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video with me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. The food looks amazing. He said about the services that you just have to be patient with the services and they are also professional, which is good and nice. And he also mentioned um, the food. The eating is not is not cheap. It's kind of expensive. So you're going to have chin chin to eat amazing food if that's true i would like to know that in the comments do you agree with him let me know that in the comment section if you don't agree with him still drop it in the comment section i'll pretty read your comment and reply them as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one and he said moi moi so moi moi it should be goodbye right let me know that in the comment section i'll see you in the next one